Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, reporting to you from wherever I decide to report to when I edit this video because I am in front of a giant green screen. Well, today I'm gonna say something that is probably gonna shock you. Shock you so much, in fact, that you may question the cell phone that is in your pocket right now. Unless you're an Android user, then you probably don't care. But anyways, I digress. Here in front of me, we have a couple of iPhones and a Windows phone. I don't really know why the Windows phone is here. It just, it was on the table, so we're going with it. We got some satellite phones. But anyways, you guys know what a phone is, right? These are here to demonstrate what a phone is. So you get that? Well, what's gonna blow your mind is I found out today that Steve Jobs was a dirty thief. I know, I know, I know. You're, you're probably thinking, why would you make such an accusation? But I have proof, and I'm gonna show you in this video. He did not create the first iPhone. He did not create the first iPhone with a touchscreen that was internet connected. He did not, and the proof is right here. In this box, this brand new, brand spanking new retail box here, we have, you guessed it, it's the iPhone. Look, it's even got the little eye on it, guys. Not even a big eye, there is no confusion. This is the original iPhone. We're gonna unbox it in this video right now and see if it still works. And Steve Jobs, all I gotta say is the lawyers are coming. For Tim Cook, because you got nothing to do with him anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, see you got off the hook, lucky you. That was insensitive, I apologize. All right, well before we do this unboxing, let's go ahead and move the satellite phone over here and we'll take the Windows phone and I don't know, use it to set the satellite phone on. Throw these iPhones over here. Because we need a couple of iPhones so that we can do some comparisons. I mean, obviously, right? Because we got to make sure that we establish the similarities here before we go calling people names, you know, like thieves and all that. Uh, if you guys happen to know what happened with this company, because this company predates the Apple iPhone. I, I checked, they did two seconds of research on some random site that popped up on Google next to the porn site. And it told me that this phone predates the real iPhone. So the question is, did Apple have Big Planet, the makers of this phone, kill in a back alley or something like that. Let me know down in the comments. I'd really like to know the story. All right, well, let's open it up here, guys. See what we got. The box was very, very easy to open. I mean, almost felt like it was already open. That's how well designed it was. And you can see inside of the box, there's no foam because back in the 90s, they didn't need foam. Like they just let stuff, I mean, rattle around in there because it was built so well, it really didn't matter. All right, well, let's, let's pull this guy out. Wow. All right, well, it weighs about as much as an iPhone. I mean, so we got that going for you here. Let's go ahead and set that down. And you guys cannot argue, it is a phone. And it is a touchscreen integrated device. So I, I mean, right there, I'm thinking that is enough to establish that this is the well and true original iPhone. So if anybody says, I have an original iPhone, you can say, shit, no, you don't. You don't because you don't have the big planet iPhone. This is iPhone one. The original iPhone that Apple's peddling, that is technically the iPhone 2. Now you can go like win some trivia bets and get your drinks paid for it. Be like, ah, oh, who created the first iPhone? Be like, Big Planet. And then when they all try to like take your money, be like, no, I won. I won. All right, is there anything else in here? It appears that we have the USB charging adapter that is not USB at all, but that's okay. That doesn't mean Apple didn't steal something. Um, we also have some wires in here that I can't really identify. They kind of look like a network cable of some kind, but uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh, let's see, we have, looks like a really strange power connector here. This is, this is just fantastic. Uh, let's see, why do I have so many phone lines? I only need one. All right, so let's set the charging cable aside. Ugh. I mean, imagine the horsepower under the hood of this thing to have a power brick like that. I mean, this is, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, it looks like we have some text here on the back of the phone. It says, to use a second phone line, I still don't, what's, what's a phone line? Hey Bruce, you know what a phone line is? No. All right, I figured, I don't, I don't know. It says, to use a second phone line, see the getting started manual, which uh, Big Planet did not include in the box. So I'm gonna call BS on that. It's probably why they lost the whole trademark. I bet you they lost the trademark to Apple because they lied about the manual in the box. Nobody could figure it out. So this is the little, this right here is the little plastic piece that goes on the back to hang it on a wall. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd hang that on a wall, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if you put it into a stud with some leg bolts. Oakley Oakley. Well, you can see here you have a keypad, right? So phones have those. Your iPhone has that. Steve Jobs even ripped that off. You can see this clearly had a numeric keypad with a one up in the corner with a nine down at the bottom, the zero at the very bottom. Same exact keyboard that is digitally representative and clearly ripped off by the Apple Corporation. 
Now, looking at this phone, you can also see you have some arrow keys. I, I'm guessing those are for navigating some things. You got some miscellaneous buttons, but you're probably thinking to yourself, this is not like an iPhone doll because an iPhone has a keyboard. It's a digital keyboard, you can type things in. You're not gonna do that with a numeric keypad. Well, you know what? Bam! It's a keyboard, right there, guys. Right there is a keyboard. Very well-built keyboard, too. It actually has a very, very nice uh, key feel, too. It's not mechanical. These are not mechanical keys, folks, but they're nice. God, that's satisfying. That's really satisfying. So, you've got your screen, and it is a touch screen. It says so on the box, okay? So, I think the only thing left to do here, because we really, really just need to drive this home, the Apple is a thief, is we need to plug this damn thing in and see if it actually boots up. All right, well, I don't think this has a battery, so we're gonna actually need some wall power. Electron Assistant, thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna first plug in the power right here, which was the last time you saw a power connector like this that has like a five pin or nine pin din connector. I mean, that's some serious power. Looks like it came off a CB radio from like a truck. All right, we're gonna run that over there, but they did believe in standards over at Big Planet because you can clearly see that it uses a standard type power cable. None of that proprietary stuff, right? I mean, Apple technically should charge over USB, but no, they had to create their little lightning cable and be all proprietary and sell more stuff. No, Big Planet believed in standards and I, and I fully stand behind that decision. Even though, as I understand it, they had their own telephone company and internet service that only worked with this device, which means they didn't believe in standards at all. All right, let's plug this in. Oh, 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 oh. We have some red lights. Those two were both on and now one is, oh, two more lights are on. Oh, oh, they're blinking. They're blinking. Is the screen on? I see some glow. I see, I see a little glow. Yes, there is definitely a glow going on here. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, I heard a noise. I heard like a speaker popping noise. Come on, baby. I can clearly see that the tray here does have a place for a stylus, which wasn't, wasn't in the box. So, bam, Big Planet did not do a very good job making sure everything was in the box, because that was clearly new. That was clearly a new box that has never been opened before. It's making a noise, can you guys hear that? Sounds like Pac-Man with diarrhea. Nip, 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 nip. Okay, hold on, let's try some of these brightness dials. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? Hold on here. There's a brightness dial, and there's like a contrast dial. Okay, hold on here, we're gonna get it just right for you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the screen on this thing isn't nearly as good as the iPhone 6, but I have to imagine that once Apple ripped off the design from Big Planet, that they actually ripped off some other companies that had better LCD screen technology and just kept improving by just literally ripping off everybody. I think that's how, I think that's how it played out. I mean, don't quote me on it. Uh, I did check a couple of links that were uh, on Wikipedia and Urban Dictionary. And it, and it told me that this is most likely what Apple did. So, looking at this device right now, you can see that it's got a very crisp, high resolution 4K screen. Now don't quote me on that, I don't know if it's actually 4K. Um, and you don't see any color on the screen right now because it's actually not a color screen. Uh, but you can clearly see that it does have a keyboard that pops out on the bottom here. And it doesn't have a mouse. And I tried, this doesn't work either. Like that would have been pretty cool though, right? If this doubled as a mouse, like just a little ball down there in the bottom, genius, right? I should trademark that so that Apple will, uh, will maybe give me something for it. Who are we kidding? They're just gonna rip us off. Um, so let's see, do we got a dial tone? We do not because we are not in the 50s and we do not have a place to plug in said cable. So the phone functionality at this point is dead. But let's take a look at the menu here. Okay, first of all, is this in fact a touch screen? Let's try it, let's, let's, let's hit the internet. Whoa, look at that refresh rate. That refresh rate is amazing. Did you guys see that? Wow. Wow, that refresh rate is amazing. Like, that, that's mind blowing. So it says, let's see here. Please press reload now. Okay, let's try reload. Nothing, nothing. I'm thinking that's probably because we don't have an internet connection. Because Apple stole that too. That is right, you heard that correctly. Apple stole the internet connection from Big Planet along with their iPhone. It's, it's actually very disgusting. I mean, I actually feel really bad that Steve Jobs' legacy is a sham like this. And I'm sorry that you guys had to find out this way. Because, uh, I mean, I, I always thought that Steve Jobs was like an idol and he was like a really stand-up guy. But it turns out that he just steals product ideas from other companies. <laughs> and to be honest, I already knew that because I worked at Microsoft and we did the same thing. All right, so since we don't have internet, let's go back to the menu. And you can see that uh, actually Amazon also ripped off the screen technology here for the Kindle. 
You can clearly see by the update speed and the way that it's all white and black, that's clearly a Kindle Paperwhite screen that they, that they took from Amazon. So Big Planet is a little bit of a thief themselves. Uh, let's see here. What's My Planet? Okay, there's a My Planet button. Let's push that. Okay, again, we need an internet connection. Wow, you need an internet connection for a lot of things on this. Uh, let's see, email, listings, directory, shopping, My eHealth. Wow, they cared about health back in the 90s. Yep, need internet for that one too, man. It's trying to connect to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash I underscore host under or forward slash news forward slash news dot HTML. So guys, feel free to try to go there and see if that site is still up. Windows ripped off the live tiles. Windows did. You are right, Bruce. We can clearly see that Microsoft Windows ripped off live tiles right there. They did. Big Planet had it first. Big Planet was revolutionary, guys. Revolutionary in their application of technology only to be taken advantage of by the juggernaut that is Apple and the other companies like Amazon and Microsoft. And that makes me sad because imagine what this device could have been today. Because here you have the iPhone, right? I mean, these things aren't that great. I mean, I have one, you know, it does some things, but it's, it's not that spectacular. Imagine if these guys had been allowed to move forward unmolested, we would probably have phones that are embedded into our brainstem right now with virtual reality circuits and water-cooled muffler capacitors. Okay, there also appears to be an LED up here in the corner. I don't think we can make it blink though because, oh, I hear that, I hear tones. The phone still technically works. That's, a, dude, you wouldn't find an iPhone this old that worked. I mean, mainly because it didn't exist yet because they didn't steal the technology until a little while after. But if you could, you would not have an iPhone that would still work after this period of time without at least a broken screen or a bad battery. And that's why they didn't put a battery in here. Why put a battery in this device? That would just ruin it. It would ruin it because off wall power, it's always gonna work. It's never gonna run dead unless you have a windstorm or something that knocks out the power. But you know, I digress. So this device was officially created in 1999, which also proves that it predates any of the Apple iPhone offerings. And I think that I speak for everybody here that is watching this video, that because it has a touch screen, it is a phone with internet access in theory, that this is clearly what the iPhone that Apple created is based on. This is undeniably the Apple iPhone 1.0. And if Tim Cook wants to contest that, come at me, bro. I dare you, Tim. I dare you, tweet me, whatever, reach out to me. I dare you to look me in the eye and tell me this, this is not the device that you ripped off. Actually, not you technically. Steve ripped it off. But then when he died, you jumped in and we're like, eh, you know, we already took it. Let's, you know, have some more billions of dollars. Guys, I would love to know what you think about this. Please leave your comments down below. Come over and tweet me. I am at Barnacles over on the Twitter and the Instagram and most of those other things. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on the original iPhone by Big Planet. Because I feel like this company really got ripped off by Apple. And I don't think it's fair. And I want to see some justice. And I want to see some reparations. And I want to see everybody go out there and start using the hashtag save Big Planet iPhone or Steve Jobs stole Big Planet's iPhone and I don't think that's cool. That, that's a hashtag. I think that's under 140 characters too. So try it. And uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep tonight knowing that, that my iPhone could have been a radically different device created by a Big Planet, not a fruit company. You guys have a wonderful day. I mean, it's even got a drawer for the keyboard. See, why, why do you need a digital on-screen keyboard? Why don't they just have a keyboard that slid out of it? <sighs> they stole some of the ideas, but not the good ones. Oh, and the best part, guys, look at this, check this out. You didn't even take the phone with you. All right, what's up? Yeah. What, they didn't steal it? No, they did. Whoa, 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 actually, that was my attorney on the phone. He said to make it clear in the video that this is a parody for entertainment purposes only because it turns out that Apple is the type of company that sues small people like me. And they would probably end up taking everything I've ever done and put it into the iPhone 8. And I don't want that to happen. So Apple, this is a parody. I'm just making fun of you. Please do not sue me. I heard what you did to that other family's children. And to make an example, I do not want that to happen to Xander. He deserves better than that. So guys, just please, it was a joke. Just calm down. And Tim Cook, please call back the Hitman and just tell him to back off, okay? Just, it's all good, buddy. It's all good. Oh my God, I'm glad I called my attorney. <sighs> That would, that would have been bad. Seriously, don't sue me.